Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. Canada's telecom regulator, the CRTC, recently launched a consultation about potential national rules to protect cell phone users. This, as I'm sure many of you would agree, is absolutely necessary, given that only three large corporations control the vast majority of Canada's cell phone market, an estimated 94%. Their unchecked market dominance has led to Canadians paying some of the highest cell phone fees in the industrialized world, including some of the very highest roaming fees. We're also forced into some of the most punitive customer service situations. For example, a lawyer from the University of Ottawa, who specializes in Canadian contract law, recently spoke to CBC's Marketplace about certain aspects of Roger's contracts. I know that I can manage my affairs if I know every month for the next three years I only need to pay $40 a month. That certainty is destroyed when Rogers can come and just change it to $70 or whatever they're going to change it to. But Rogers can do that legally? I would start from the position, no, they may not. Between this and the many cell phone horror stories that we hear from Canadians, it's clear that we need to build upon and strengthen rules that put Canadian cell phone users first. So far, the provinces of Manitoba and Quebec have passed good legislation, and it looks as though Ontario is next. While nationalizing the rules is in general a good idea, Canadians need to be sure to pay attention so that big telecom doesn't take advantage. The big three may be seeking to bypass strong provincial rules by lobbying the CRTC to pass a weaker set of national ones. In recent decisions, however, it's been clear that the CRTC has its ear to the ground and has at least been listening to Canadians. They're currently allowing anyone to comment on those potential national rules, which you can do through our form at, you guessed it, openmedia.ca slash national rules. And that's your update for this week. As developments arise in this and in the online spying bill and copyright, we'll be sure to keep you informed. Don't forget to check the openmedia.ca website for more and to join the conversation on social media. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca, signing off.